from the Sunshine State, Florida, the home of Dutyville, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here he is, Buffalo Bob Smith. There you are. Hi, Jackson. Nice to see you. And now, say, kids, moms and dads, what time is it? Okay, gang, let's go! I'd like to bet that a lot of you peanuts waited a long time for your chance to come here to the Dutyo studio, and we're all very happy to have you right here in Dutyville. But it looks like we're going to have a, well, a quiet time here in Dutyville for a change. Just happens that there's nothing exciting going on. I mean, no special events, uh, no big mystery, uh, nobody big is coming to Dutyville. Oh, Buffalo uh, Bob, Buffalo I... Bob. Oh, hey, it's our good buddy, Howdy Doody. Hey, hiya, Howdy. How you doing, oh, hi. Old bud? Oh, say, Buffalo Bob. Yeah. If nothing exciting is going on, uh, how, how are we going to entertain the peanuts? Well, howdy, that's the problem, you see. I just told them, I said, there's nothing really hey, big hey, going on. Buff. Hey, oh, Buff. Hey, Buff. Hey, Buff. Beep, 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 Hey, Buff, I heard you say you had a problem. Yeah. You got a problem, I solve them. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> yep. You mean you've uh, got an idea to entertain the peanuts? Have right? I got an eye for entertaining the peanuts? Yeah. Well, you know how good I am at inventing and all the electronic type of things and all like that oh, there? Sure, sure. Well, I thought it might be very very interesting, and the peanuts would all be very thrilled yeah. if I gave them a little lecture on how the inside of a radio operates. Oh, well, Corny, I don't know that they'd be interested in that. Oh, they love it. They love it. They love it. Now, peanuts, actually, the radio works very, very simple. Yeah. You see, it starts with the electricity. Mm -hmm. You see, it's called a DC mm -hmm. because it comes from Washington. Oh, that's why they call it. That's why they call it. I see. That's you understand? Yeah. What's Mr. Cobb talking about? Oh, golly, Dilly, I'm afraid he's off again. This is Corny's corny idea of how to entertain the peanuts. Oh, well, I'm not going to stay around and listen to all that mumbo-jumbo. Goodbye. <coughs> now, mm -hmm. this electricity goes from this here trans-sister mm -hmm. to this here trans-brother. Right next to it. Oh, from the, oh. See, that's the way it goes. They... Then it goes up this wire here. Then it goes in to the headphones, which the engineers have a nickname for. They call them cans. Cans. Right. Uh, you see, now, inside these cans, yeah. there is what they call a tuner. Mm -hmm. And that's why the engineers refer to it as canned tuner. <laughs> tuner. Like canned tuna. It's a little joke that we have in the engineering. A very, type. very little joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, now, look. And we, now we all the... admire, no, Cordy, we all admire your wonderful electrical... I'm just getting started. Yeah, I, I, I know, but uh, uh, tell me, Peanuts, do you, do you all want to hear Cobb's lecture on how a radio works? You don't want to hear it. Oh, see? all right, all right. Sorry. I'll bet they don't even know that Arthur Godfrey invented the radio. Oh. I tried. Yeah, all right, okay. But thank you very much, Corny. <laughs> Well, Peanuts, I'm sure we'll find something interesting to do uh, right after this.
Uh, Happy, I mean Miss Harmony, uh, what's, the, what, what's all this for? Well, Buffalo Bob, I know that you're looking for something to entertain the peanuts, and so, yeah. well, I thought they might find it entertaining if I were to give them a little lesson in arithmetic and algebra. For instance, here's a... Well, I wanted yeah, to show you uh, yeah, a but problem look, in uh, Excuse me a minute. I'd like to check this out with the peanuts. Peanuts, is this how you'd like to spend the day uh, having an arithmetic lesson? No. I'm sorry, but that's what they said. Well, okay, but... You know something, Peanuts? Solving arithmetic problems can be fun if you think about it this way. It's a lot like solving puzzles. Well? I'll tell you about it another time. All right, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I asked the kids, and, you know, okay. they said they'd rather not, so, you know, don't, 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 don't. Oh, hi, Clarabelle. Hi. What? What do you got? You want to entertain the Peanuts. You want to entertain the Peanuts. Oh. Hey, kids, would you like to see Clarabelle do one of his funnies here? Yeah. Huh? All right, fine. I guess we finally solved the problem. They want you to do something funny, so go ahead. All right, now, what, what's the idea of this? Buffalo I... Bob, I have such great news. Yes, what is it, Nicholson Muir? Hold it, hold it. Uh, incidentally, kids, this is our producer, Mr. Nicholson Muir. Now, look, Clarabelle was just about to do a funny here for us. <laughs> and yes, I... yes, but I... I... never mind this gloopy clown. I've just got something exciting, some what? news. Like got what? a telephone call yeah. from Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes, from the Waldo Dizzy studio. Waldo Dizzy? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait Waldo. a minute, Nicholson. Did we hear you say something about the Waldo Dizzy Studios? Yes, who did you speak to? I spoke to Waldo Dizzy himself. Oh. That's who. Hey. He called me personally. But Waldo Dizzy. Oh, hey, Mr. Blister. Who's Waldo Dizzy? <laughs> Why, uh, Waldo Dizzy is the producer of those great documentary movies. Didn't you see his prize-winning picture, A Day in the Life of a Night Crawler? I never heard of it. <laughs> well, maybe it was called A Night in the Life of a Day Crawler. I don't know. Anyway, my favorite Waldo Dizzy movie was Biography of a Bedbug. Uh, can you guess what that was about? No, I'll bite. Uh, so did the bedbug. <laughs> uh, you must have seen that movie. I go, uh, oh, say Buffalo Bob. Nicholson, what's all this about Waldo Dizzy? Oh, I have great news, Mayor Bluster. What is it? Waldo Dizzy wants to come to Dutyville and make a documentary. Yes, called A Day at the Dutyo Studio. Oh, boy. You mean Waldo Dizzy is coming here? Yeah, w when is he coming? Oh, he's flying in today from Hollywood. Today? today? I'm going to get ready. Bye. Oh, hey, me too. I, I want to change my apron. Yeah, I guess we all better look our best, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know what there is about myself to improve, but I'll try. Oh, what? Dizzy Waldo's coming. Wow! And won't Howdy Doody be thrilled when he learns that Mr. Dizzy is going to do a documentary movie about our television show? I'm going to go and tell him, okay? Say, Nicholson, look, uh, uh, Clarabelle was about to do a little uh, a funny uh, something for the peanuts. Well, why don't you find Howdy while I help Clarabelle, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. I will help Clarabelle. I'm an experienced performer, you know. Oh, really? Yes, in my school flower pageant. Yeah. I played the part... And uh, don't, don't tell me, please. Of a tiger lily. Oh, well, I'm glad. All right, just just go find Howdy, okay, will you please? All right, now, what have you got to entertain the peanuts, Clarabelle? You and I and all the peanuts oh, are going to play a game. Oh, a good game? Okay, okay, what's the game? A box and a glass. And what's that, kids? Lollipop. Okay, you put the lolly in the glass, and then what? And you have an empty box. And you cover it up. You cover up a lollipop with a box. Is that all there is to the game? That's not a good game. Oh, there's more. Oh, all right. But what? Oh, another box. And and a seltzer bottle. Is that loaded? Is there anything in it? Up! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, not the musician. All I asked if it was loaded. I didn't say squirt it. All right, and you cover that up. Okay, cover that up. All right, now what else do you play? Let's see, we got a lollipop and a seltzer bottle. And what do you got? Another box. Another box. And another seltzer. Is that loaded, too? Is that... Ah! No. I'm, I'm sorry, honey. He's, he, he's not housebroken. You forgive us. All right, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Now, you, you cover that. Let me see. You got a, a seltzer bottle and a lollipop. And a well, what's the idea of the game? 
Oh, you are going to mix up the boxes, and I have to remember where the lollipop... Oh, kids, he's going to mix up the boxes, and we have to remember where the lollipop is. Okay, go ahead, do it. Oh, and, and what happens if we, if we guess the lolly? Oh, kids, if we guess the lolly, we get the lolly. Is that right? Remember now, if we guess the lolly, we get the lolly. Okay. What if we uh, guess the seltzer? It's most imperative that we recall with unerring accuracy under which container we have the lolly. Right? You know what that means? That means keep your eye on the sucker. Okay? All right, now, it's in the middle. Do you see where is it? Yeah. Middle, middle. You all see it in the middle? All right. Play the game. Watch the middle one. Okay, here we go. All right. Where is it? Middle. You say 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 middle. 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 Everybody say middle. 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 Okay. Middle. 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 Okay. Carver. I say no. No. I say there it is. Right in. How did you get? Do that again. Do I think I see what happened there? Kids, it's imperative that we recall under which container contains the confection. Watch the middle one. Where is it? Then watch the middle. Okay, do it again. Middle. You say middle, you say middle, dad, you say middle, middle. Middle, you say middle, you say middle, you say middle, middle. Everybody says middle, 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 middle. You say middle, you say middle, you say middle. Lynch, Lee, Vinny, Jackie, Frankie, Freddy, middle, middle. All right, middle. You say middle, you say middle, you say middle. They all say so. I say no. I say no. I say there it is in the middle. Didn't you tell me it was in the middle? He what? He changed it. Did you change it? Oh, that's not a good game. I mean, just because you play a game with a lollipop, you shouldn't make a sucker out of me. Let's do it again. All right, now, here. now wait, da, 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 da. not so fast. This time we're playing it my way. My way. Now, this way is my way. I don't care how many times you switch the boxes, but when I talk with the peanuts, you got to leave the boxes in that position. You can't switch them around. The boxes have to stay where they were. Will you play it my way? My way? OK. All right, my way. Now, where is it, everybody? In the... Yeah. Oh, look at that nice lady over there. In the middle, see? It's in the middle. Now, you saw it was in the middle. I saw it was in the middle. It's got to stay in the middle, because he is not allowed to... No, he can't switch boxes. No, he is not allowed to switch boxes. He can't switch this box with this one, or this one with this one. This has to stay here in this hole. So if he has to leave the boxes in the same position that they were, the lollipop has got to be in the middle, right? Right, got to be, right? You say middle, you say middle, you say middle, you say middle, 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 middle. You didn't switch the boxes. Boxes are in the same position. Then it's got to be in the... How did that thing get over there? Oh! Well, how in the world you ever got that thing? Three bottles? Oh, you not Please. to trust that clown. Uh, you do it to him. Oh, no. Uh, you do it uh, to him. Uh, oh, I'll get him. 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 Oh, I never played a game with this. I'm sorry. We did the whole thing.
Howdy. Where is everybody? Well, I don't know, Flub. They're not out there with the peanuts, and I, I thought maybe we'd find them relaxing here in the green room. Why, you know, if that Mr. Waldo Drizzle walks into the dirty old studio, why, he's going to be surprised to find nobody around. Now, look, Flub, his name is Mr. Dizzy, uh. and it's the Dudio studio, uh. and you're right. <laughs> <laughs> What, Buffalo Bob? Ah, yes, what, Buffalo sir. Bob, well, why are you dressed like that? Well, you see, all the, all the big movie stars are, are sailing and yachting, and, and of course, when Waldo Dizzy arrives, well, I just want you to let him know that I'm out on Biscayne Bay <laughs> taking my, my sailing lesson. <laughs> oh, no, not you too, Buffalo Bob. Yeah. Uh, Ta-ta! Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Something got loose from the zoo. <laughs> Goodbye. Buffalo Bob? Yes. Buffalo Bob, <laughs> yes. when Waldo Dizzy arrives, would you please send him directly to my office? Uh, now, wait a minute. Nicholson. You are Nicholson Muir, aren't you? In the flesh. Uh, you know, I think Howdy is trying to tell us something. Oh? Yeah. Boy, I sure am, Buffalo Bob. Everybody's walking around dressed like, like, a, like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Well, Howdy, if we're going to be in the movies, we want to look our best. Yeah, I know. Now, Mr. Muir, this movie is a documentary, and that means it's, it's supposed to be the truth. Howdy, you're right. Nicholson, look. Mm -hmm. What's that? Waldo Dizzy wants to show what really goes on here in the Dudio studio. Is that right? That's right. But it won't work unless we all act natural. Mm -hmm. Not like a bunch of phonies. Oh. Right, Audi? Oh, thanks for saying that, Buffalo Bob. Okay. I agree 100%. Now, mm -hmm. look, to tell you the truth, Howdy, I feel a little ridiculous in this outfit just between you and me. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Nick? Huh? Oh, well, you know, I agree. I'm yes. glad. I agree. I, I agree. This it doesn't fit me anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to change into my regular outfit, my sincere outfit. Yeah, and that's bad enough. Huh? Now, look, Howdy, I'll just convince the others to be themselves, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll see you later. And thanks very much for your uh, advice, Howdy. And you're the only one who showed good common sense. I'll see you later, Howdy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Ding, busted, howdy doody is right. You know, that kid has got it up here, upstairs. Right. I'm going to get out of these here glamour duds, and I'm going to just be my sweet, lovable old selfie. That's the idea, Corny. Right. You know, I'm proud of Howdy for being so sensible. And I'm a little bit ashamed of myself for trying to put on airs for Mr. Dizzy. I'm going to change back into my show costume, too. Good. Good. Well, I'm not changing. And don't tell me I'm putting on airs. Of course, I'm wearing the sash, but I am the mayor. And I think Waldo Dizzy should know it. Okay, Phineas, you can wear your sash. That's perfectly all right. <laughs> Oh, now, Clarabelle, what in the world do you think you're doing, huh? Hey, hey, will someone tell this clown-striped dude that he is no movie director? He looks ridiculous. Uh, he, he looks, looks ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> I'm a music man. Uh, you know, my name is really Jack E. Davis. E stands for Elton. Can you dig it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jackie and Clarabelle, yeah. we're all really being foolish. You know something? Howdy suggested that we should be our natural selves for this movie. Yeah. So Mr. Cobb and I, we're going to change back into our regular clothes. Yes, we and are. even Nicholson Muir is changing back. Yep. Right. Well, what about you fellas? How about you, Clarabelle? Okay. And how about you, Jackie? Right on. Goodbye, yeah. Olton. Hello, Jackie. <laughs> hey, after we change, Buffalo Bob, yep. what are we going to do then? What's the next thing? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, while we're waiting for Waldo to arrive, it might be a good idea to sort of tidy up the studio a bit. Oh, just for Waldo? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll get some dusters and some rooms and stuff like that. Good. But I want to tell you something. Yeah. I got me this here, uh, now, uh, slippery discus in my vertigo, oh. and I'm not going to be able to help you as much as I'd like well, to. Well, just take it easy. Yeah. Just okay. sweep easy. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll see you later then. We'll, we'll clean up the studio. All right. See you later, Clarabelle. Well, Phineas, thanks to Howdy. We're not going to come on like a bunch of phonies, right? Yeah, I, I can't stand it when people act conceited. 
Oh, by the way, Buffalo Bob, yeah. uh, which is my best profile? My what left or my right? Well, let me see your right. Let me see your left. Which is yeah. Come on, make up your mind. Is it my left or my right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back right after this. Well, that's pretty good, yeah. Right. That's right. Your right. Oh, happy, corny. Look. Mm -hmm. There's Nicholson talking to the flood. He didn't even change his clothes. That outfit looks terrible. Come on, maybe we can convince him to change. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was in a movie once. I sat in the balcony. Look, aren't you ashamed of yourself wearing those ridiculous clothes? Right. Everybody agrees they're in just terrible taste. Listen, Look. we got one clown around here, Clarabelle, and we don't need anyone else dressing like a clown. Matter of fact, Corny, he doesn't even look like a clown. He looks more like a, a carnival freak. Yeah, that's what he looks like. <laughs> carnival <laughs> freak. I... Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Oh, my goodness. You're not Nicholson Muir. Oh. Uh, How did somebody call my name? Yes, oh. I... Uh, Oh, oh dear, oh my word, Waldo Dizzy, Waldo, you've arrived. Waldo Dizzy, this oh, is... I hope my people treated you warmly. Oh, no. Oh. Yes, well, come with oh, no. me. We have some refreshments for you. Oh, no. Yes, yes, lots of refreshments. Oh, come this no. way. Hey, Flub. that wasn't nice the way you made fun of Mr. Drizzly's clothes. I know, Flub, we know. We'll see you later, Flub. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, what did we do? I'm so embarrassed. Embarrassed. Well, Mr. Cobb? Well, Buffalo Bob? Well, Peanuts? Looks like we got off to a bad start here with Waldo Dizzy. Well, let's hope we can straighten it out. So you'll be with us for our next show when Waldo Dizzy starts shooting his movie about Dutyville. I hope. And now, it's time to say goodbye, goodbye till our next show time.